Hi. I'm Saperna, and um, as most of you know, my mother just passed, and in honor of her death, I would like to translate the uh, news article that came out about her in the Bogota News, because as I learned in Spain, words without translation have no value. So, so they're saying right now that um, we are worshiping Sai Baba. The same way Jesus had Father, um, you know, I have Sai Baba. I call him Sai Baba. And he is a male representation of the divine. That's what they're talking about. That's who Sai Baba is in the Sophia Code uh, terminology. He is uh, referred to as Maha Avatar Baba G. We all call him different names. I call him Sai Baba. They're calling this Shridhi Sai Baba's temple. There's a difference between Shridhi, Shridhi Sai Baba and the one that had reincarnated like uh, later on because the one that had incarnated back in 1908 was born in Shridhi and humans are so dense they think when there is one avatar they must follow that avatar. Uh, they're saying that Sai Baba was born in November. They are saying that um, Sai Baba's birthday is always celebrated by Sai Ma at her home here in Kolkata. In the morning, uh, Sai Baba is worshipped through pageant, meaning uh, devotional songs. With, within all humans, there is the divinity within us. Uh, they're saying that the worship of the divinity within us starts by worshiping the child within us. Gopal is the two-year-old version of Krishna who symbolizes the child that lives within all of us. And Saima right here is uh, worshiping a, a young boy to represent the child that lives within all of us. As Jesus said, the kingdom of God belongs to the children. What he meant is the kingdom of God belongs to the inner child that lives within all of us. Uh, what he's saying is with this is my mom here uh, with her own hands she washes everyone's feet and she feeds them food with her own hands Um, he said, how, ma how many years have you been doing this service for other people? She said, for 53 years, I have been helping other people to recognize the inner child that lives within them. She saying that she surrenders to God and whatever Baba says, that is what she does. Um, she just surrenders to divine will and if 
Baba says you do this, then she just does it without question. She doesn't let her ego, uh, the ego does not mean narcissism. Ego means the ideas and beliefs that have been implanted into us by our families, our religions, and our cultures as to how we should conduct ourselves. She's saying, uh, Baba, God is everything. Whatever he says morning till night, that is what I do. That is what I surrender to. She's saying it makes me happy that whatever I do is in God's will. That that's all I need to be happy. I don't need to follow my own ego-driven desires. Uh, she's saying I say the name Sai Ram all the time because that to me is how I connect to Father, to God. Um, although we all know and believe that God is a divine feminine entity because only women can give birth to uh, new things. Only women can create new things. Women gave birth to a male figure and this male figure is what Jesus referred to as father and she is referring to father as Sai Ram. She said she starts each day by uh, doing worship to Narayan Shiva. Um, a different version. And Hinduism is a very complicated religion. Not everyone really can understand it. We, we worship all the different aspects of divinity um, in, in the different forms that they come in. It's the same way Christianity worships different angels. The angels are different groupings of energies uh, that are divine qualities that are grouped together. For me, it's kind of like cook cooking. Like you cook certain foods with different spices, if you consider each spice a different entity of God, a different divine quality, it's the same way an angel is, that's how demigods are in Hinduism. She's saying first for one hour she worship, worships the energy of Shiva. Shiva represents death and destruction and rebirth. Then. She's just explaining how she spends her day. Um, you know, she devotes one hour to worshiping different aspects of God, um, the different qualities that God has. In Hinduism, we divide it into three parts. There is creation, then there is preservation, then there's destruction. Creation is symbolized by Brahma. Um, preservation is Krishna. Destruction is Shiva. Because without destruction, you cannot have rebirth. That's the cycle of life. So she starts the day worshiping destruction and creation, and she ends it again with destruction. When she first met the second reincarnation of Sai Baba, she didn't know who, she, who he was. And she asked him and he said, I was first with the Sai, now I've reincarnated as Satya Sai. She 
said after that, after she clarified that for herself, for her own knowing, she was able to surrender completely. And after that, he has been communicating with her privately ever since. She's calling him Buddha, meaning this old man has taught me everything I know and that is all I need in life is to hear his guidance, this old man. <laughs> The interviewer asked, why, why do you listen to this old man? She said, because Baba um, gives ashifat, he, he gives blessings to everyone that listens to me. He, lis he listens to everyone's thoughts. God can hear your thoughts, he can feel your emotions. And because he does that, that is why I am doing puja to him, meaning that is why I'm honoring him all the time, because he makes the effort to listen to everybody. She said, God isn't such a thing that you have to create a, a big what to do, what to do to connect with God. If you want to connect with God, you just talk to him privately. You develop a relationship with him. That is all you need. It doesn't matter how you choose to make that relationship. She said, God is always holding my hand. She said, all God wants, all Baba wants is for everyone to be happy and to be living here in peace. The interviewer is saying, morning till night, my mom's house fills up with people um, to, to get the uh, blessings of Sai Baba, the, the prashad, the food that she makes and, and she gives to everyone and uh, her house is filled with people morning till night. Now he he's lightening the conversation and he's just asking what kind of food is on the menu that you cook and serve to everybody and they're saying aludam and, and some other types of items. Uh, aludam is something made out of potatoes. They keep saying they, they first worship Gopal, the two-year-old version of Krishna. By right? doing that, we are worshiping the inner child that lives within us all. Then when, after we worship our own inner child for one hour, we then at our home, we uh, do pageant meaning uh, devotional songs for one hour. saying that as part of the worship, we use our own hands to clean the feet of another person and to use our own hands to feed another person. The, the purpose of this is to humble ourselves and to always be 
uh, uh, presence and to be willing to help another human individual if he gives a shot.